Hey everyone, it's your friend Think Noodles, and welcome to the full walkthrough for Red Dragon Island with full audio commentary. I hope this walkthrough gets you through the part of the island that you're having trouble with, and if it does, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more Pop Tropical walkthroughs. Alright, so let's get started with the island. And as you drop out of the blimp, you drop down to here, and you're going to want to run all the way to your right. You don't need to bother with any of the houses or any of the other people. And as you run to the right, go in here and watch this little cutscene. And now head to your right, and you're going to want to pick something up here. Uh, jump on the tire, and you'll knock it down, and then you're going to push it very, very far to the left. Uh, this is one of the only items I've ever seen in Pop Tropica that you can push uh, from screen to screen. There you go. You see it goes to the left. And just keep going to your left. And we're heading to the Magic Tree House, which is where the two kids just went. So just keep running and running. And uh, it makes you go a little bit slower because the tire is heavy. But you don't need to go in any of these other places. Keep going. And here we go to the woods. And uh, now this is sort of a puzzle challenge, not really, um, once you get past this. Uh, you just have to keep pushing it up and down the hills, and um, you might accidentally let it go and have it come back the, down the hill toward you. Um, and you can bounce off of it, which you'll see in a second you'll need to do. Uh, so there we go, and I, uh, oops, there we go, let's head back and just keep pushing it up the hill, and then there's another hill to push it up. And don't worry, you don't need a running start for any of these. Um, oop. <laughs> oop, oop, oop. All right, there we go. <laughs> all right, let's try that again. And push it up. And then all the way up. And we'll just keep it going. And just stay behind it and keep pushing. And you don't need a head start or a running start to get it up and down the hills. You are strong enough to get it all the way. And here we go, we stop. And you see the glasses right here. So you want to run over to them. And uh, you just have to run past them and you'll automatically pick up the glasses. Then take the tire and push it underneath the ladder for the most part and bounce off of it right there. And then uh, climb up into the treehouse. And he won't like you here, but you can make his day a little bit better by giving his glasses back. And that's the only thing in your inventory, so just use it. Now just head to your left and pick up this book. And then walk over to Annie, the girl, and click the third option, how does it work? And there you go, the book appears, so go and pick it up. And then all you have to do is open up your inventory and click use on the journey to old Japan. And guess what? <laughs> you get to go to Old Japan. And although it looks the same outside, there's a few butterflies, and you'll see that it is not the same place. So of course they uh, they leave you alone, but they do give you something to get you back to the treehouse, just in case. So you'll just want to follow them to the left, but you won't be able to find them. So just head to your left and skip past all of these people. That door is closed right there, but it'll open in a second. And just keep running to the left until you run into these guys. And you might think, uh oh, I did something wrong. <laughs> I'm in trouble. Don't worry about it. You're supposed to do that. Now right here, just go and uh, talk to this guy. You don't really need to, but select the third option. And um, then just open up your inventory and use the magic amulet to get back to the treehouse and get out of jail. All right, back at the treehouse. Now we'll head out. 
and we're gonna run to our left again and you will notice that that door I stopped in front of before is now open so let's go inside now head to your right and talk to the shop owner right here and select the third option because we need a kimono to get anywhere in this. And I know boys don't normally wear kimonos, but they do in Pop Tropica apparently. So choose one of the kimonos. Um, run to my right here and pick it up. And then uh, open your inventory and click on the kimono. And uh, you can just click customize or um, I don't really like this color. I should have picked a different color. Um, yeah, uh, this is kind of a girl color. Uh, you know what? Let me just okay. So once you put it on it'll ask what's in the kimono pocket and you have a passport So let me put on the kimono because I didn't put it on um, And I'm gonna choose a different color uh, Yeah, no, you know the blue one's nice. Okay um, It's more boyish <laughs> All right, there we go now uh, we have our kimono and passport and um, We can just head out of the shop Now run to your left and we'll go right past the guards from before and they won't recognize us. <laughs> they think we're a citizen, check it out. <laughs> cool, right? Okay, so let's head to the left. And uh, we'll hide here and watch what happens to them because they uh, don't have passports. They do have the kimonos, but they get caught. All right, now head to your left and up over this bridge here, and we'll come back to this in a few minutes. All right, head to your left here, and when you see the stairs, jump up and grab that fish right there. And then you're going to continue up the staircase and enter through this red gate here. All right, now click on her and select the third option. Now what you'll want to do is run to your right and just head over here and jump and that'll fall down. And it is a note from Jack and Annie. So let's open it up. And uh, it says they're safe, but they found out they were carrying the wand of Dianthus and took it. The wand's powerful, uh, and he could use do a lot of damage with it. So they're talking about the ninja master to come and save them. So let's go find him. So head down. And we'll head down from here too. There we go. And head to your left here. And we'll go to the next screen. Now just keep running right through this. You don't need to bother with anything here yet. We'll use that staircase that I just stopped at a little bit later, but you don't really need to talk to any of these people. So keep heading to your left. And when you get here, uh, you'll need to fix that later. Get here, pick up the mortar and then run to your left and enter this little shack here. Now talk to the old man and click the bottom one. All right, now we'll head out and a few things will have changed and we're going to have to help a few people out here in old Japan. So keep heading to the right and keep going and keep going right. Now, right here, you'll notice that something's happened and we need to find out what. So click on this guard and ask if you can help. You'll have to rearrange these and here's the order they go in. So these each have, uh, they say something different. So take the fifth guy and put him first. Take the second person 
and leave him in his place and switch the third and fifth person and then switch the fourth and fifth person. So if you see, there are two people without hats, then a guy with a hat, then a guy with a hat and glasses, and then a guy with a hat and a mustache. All right, there we go. Now we've solved the mystery for them and we got the betting slip. Okay, now let's head to the right. And keep going. And we're going to go back to that big red bridge. And uh, just head right here and use the mortar. And you'll just have to do a little puzzle on how to repair the bridge. And all you really do is put the pieces where they fit. So the best thing to do is kind of spread everything out so you know what pieces go where. Uh, what pieces you have. You can tell that those top two are going to go at the top of the bridge, but it's better just to get everything out in the open. Uh, it'll make it easier to solve the puzzle. So this one goes on the right and over to the left. And then you can just start piecing them together as you think they would go. That one goes there. Um, this, uh, this one goes here. That one goes there and that one goes there. Oops. And then this one last piece, and we fixed the left column. Now we're going to move that there, and uh, this one goes there, this one goes there, that one, and that one, and finally the small roundish piece. And there we go, we've completed the bridge. Now it can support a lot more weight, and the sumo wrestlers can get to their match. And I think one's coming right now. <laughs> Here he comes. What? That's a big pop drop again, huh, guys? Anyway, uh, you'll notice someone dropped something. Let's run past and pick that up. And it's bonsai scissors. So we're going to use those in a minute. But before we do that, let's drop down here. And we need to go catch something. And it's a little, uh, a little puzzle game uh, to catch a fish. Well, not a fish. It's some strange creature called a kappa. So open up your inventory and click on the rotten fish so that you can use it as bait. All right, there's the kappa. So what you need to do now is, uh, once your net is out and the fish is out, you have to uh, trick it in jumping into the net. So take the beehive and click it and send the bees into the tree so he can't use that hole. Uh, we want to light that up. So the best way to do that is first roll the rock over the hole, then light the fire, which will send that off and light the lantern. Now just move this frog to that lily pad and keep your mouse right over that, right over there, and uh, click the fish. And if you keep your mouse over that, he'll jump right into the net. If you don't keep your mouse over it, I've found he will use that lily pad to jump over it. And just do it again, uh, click the fish again, and you will get him in the net. And uh, yeah, you say something interesting. Don't I usually get something good for doing these things? Because you notice we've done two things here. And uh, there's nothing to the left here. I forgot why I went this way. I think something caught my eye. Uh, but let's uh, keep heading to the right. And uh, we're going to jump back up here. But you're going to do all these good deeds, and you're not going to get anything in return uh, like you normally would. You usually get an item, but no one gives you anything here in old Japan. You'll find out why soon. So keep heading to your right. And head back in here to talk to the old woman. So she needs to trim the bonsai, and thankfully we picked up a pair of bonsai scissors. So open up your inventory and click on the bonsai scissors. Now here we go, we just have to trim the trees to look, or just one tree actually, to look like the one on the right. And uh, it's just overgrown. And what you need to do is just use the scissors to take it off a little bit at a time here and there. And my advice to you is just to take it slow. Um, and definitely start in the middle of the trunk. It makes it a little bit easier to get an idea of what you're looking at. And just keep looking back and forth, back and forth on uh, between the tree you're cutting and between uh, the picture. And also you can notice some of the colors 
uh, on which ones to keep and which ones to get rid of. So uh, just take it slow and keep comparing back and forth and you'll get it. Uh, I played it, I think I've played this puzzle twice now and I got it both times when I clicked finish. It didn't say, oh, you have more or less. I'm not really sure what happens if you get it wrong. So uh, I, but I did, as you can tell, take a while. And also if you accidentally cut a leaf that you didn't mean to, you can click the undo in the middle. So don't forget about that. Uh, I didn't have to use it here. Um, so it's getting close. I can see there's still a couple more that I need to get rid of. Like that one, yeah, there we go. And I think there's one more. Yep, and not still a little bit more that we need to get rid of here. Yeah, that's pretty, nope, still more. Still more. That's pretty close. I'd say that's it. Um, yeah. Yep, that looks good to me. Um, so it looks identical. So that's what we wanna do is uh, once we've double checked and made sure, click finished and there we go. And uh, this guy will come in and buy the bonsai tree that we just trimmed. And we won't get any of the money. <laughs> so now let's head out and head to the left. We've done all of the good deeds in order to get the, uh, the sumo wrestlers into the building and uh, almost ready to wrestle. There are two more good deeds we have to do, but they are in the sumo wrestling arena. So let's keep heading to our left and let's head over the bridge. And keep running to your left. And uh, we'll go to the next screen. And then up these stairs right here. And then we're gonna head in here. Uh, and now the arena is open. We're going to, oops, <laughs> that was weird. Okay, we're gonna run to our right here and uh, talk to this guy and ask if we can help. And now here's another good deed. And it's not really a puzzle. You just have to copy the, um, calligraphy uh, that's on the left so just straight line I mean it doesn't have to be perfect obviously as you can tell that wasn't very perfect uh, so you know I make a f uh, it took me a while I guess um, to get decent at it but just keep an eye on the lines on the grid lines on where to start drawing everything and uh, you should be able to figure it out pretty easily uh, but you can tell I didn't have to get it 100% correct I just had to get it close so that's all you have to do is uh, get it close. I mean, they did make it uh, easy enough to do since they do know you're using a mouse. Some of the characters are harder than others. Um, this one was a little bit more difficult because it's such a long line that you have to draw, but there's only two lines. <laughs> um, but. I think these are correct kanji um, for uh, which is Japanese writing. So uh, if you want to repeat these symbols uh, for those words, uh, it's a good thing to learn. All right, I think we're almost done. I think this is the last one or there's one more, I can't remember. This could be the last one, let's see. Okay, yeah, this is the last one right here. Um, and if I remember correctly, it was one of the more complicated ones, actually maybe even the most complicated. No, maybe not the most complicated. I remember it. Um, it's not as bad as one of them. There we go. All right, now you've helped him out. Now we just have one last good deed to do. 
and uh, it has to do with this guy right here and uh, ask if you can help him and you'll get roped into something you kind of didn't mean to and now you have to fight the sumo wrestler thankfully uh, you can either push him off or avoid his fury and uh, he's big you can't push him off so avoid his fury so he's gonna stomp and all you have to do is jump up when he stomps and uh, he'll come after you and then jump up and uh, sometimes he'll run at you that's okay if it hits you a couple times anyway uh, just keep jumping and uh, oh, he'll make a run for you and keep jumping oh 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 he almost got me okay when he turns red get as far away as you can and when he runs jump over him and he'll run off the platform and you'll win you don't have to touch him at all Now you'll upset these people just a little bit. Uh, they weren't expecting you to win, and all of them had bet on the Yokozuna, and he lost. So uh, you might have upset them a little bit and gotten yourself into trouble by doing a good deed, but Basho shows up and saves the day for uh, you. And now he's going to train us. So we need to head back to his house. So once you're done here, and there's nothing left to do inside this, um, just head out of the arena. And you'll just go, oh, you gotta go this way to get down. And just keep heading to your left. Here and there he is and uh, select the third option and he'll tell you that we can start the ninja training and you'll need all the skills and items that he teaches you for the rest of this island so he uh, places all the tools that you need in your bag like I said and um, you need to change your clothing finally especially if you're a boy uh, you can get out of that kimono so open up your inventory and it's starting to really fill up. Uh, click on the ninja outfit. I'll pick the white one and uh, put it on. All right. Now these claws will help you throughout uh, and you might get used to them actually uh, if you play another island because um, you can jump up and hang on to the walls uh, or trees like that and you can just keep jumping up and make your way to the top and then jump here and then jump down to the pink branch um, and you'll fall and touch the red ribbon. Now you'll get to use the other tools uh, and starting with the throwing stars. So what you need to do is uh, get down from here and click on the little ninja mask right there and uh, click on the throwing star and then press spacebar and you'll cut it and then press spacebar, oops, <laughs> press spacebar again and uh, you'll be able to hit the flame. There it is. Okay, and uh, the next thing he's going to teach you about is the smoke bombs. So the same thing applies. What you need to do to open the smoke bombs is go over to the ninja mask um, in your lower left. Let me jump up here first because we have to hit the dummy and click on the smoke bombs and uh, then jump up and press spacebar and hit him. All right, and finally, he's going to teach you how to use the bow staff, which has two functions. One is the defensive spin, which you'll use, and also the higher jump. So uh, equip it and then just face the direction of the items and press spacebar. And there we go, we're shooting them back at him. And uh, now the faster you're running, the higher your jump is when you're using this bow staff. It's kind of like pole vault in Poptropolis games. So I just uh, run to my left and a little jump right. But if I put my cursor all the way to the left and press it, I get a big jump like that and I grab the ribbon. And uh, the grappling hook you don't have to use uh, as a function. It's always equipped like the claws. So whenever you see one of the rings like the one on the upper right there, just click it 
and you'll automatically go and click again to jump off. And that is all the tools that you'll need to get through the mazes further in the game. So let's head to our right. And keep going to your right and we'll come to the wall here. And talk to Basha one more time. And you have one more thing to complete. All right, now it's just a wall. So um, you just need to uh, put the pieces together just like we did on the bridge, except it's a bit easier. Uh, this one goes there, yep. And uh, it, being that it's a smaller thing, there's a lot less guesswork. There we go, and finally that piece. And you built the wall, and uh, now you've learned a very essential skill, which was absolutely nothing. He just wanted you to fix his wall, and he didn't want to do it. Uh, so what we'll do is head to our right, and now we have all the skills that we need to rescue Jack and Annie. So head to your right, and he'll remind you that he and the Shogun have a history. All right, let's head to the right, and we're gonna go back to the red gate uh, up the stairs that we originally got that parchment from. So let's keep going, and no, wait, not this one. Um, we'll head to the next set of stairs. All right, we're gonna head up here and enter the red gate. And then we're just gonna head over to the right where we got the parchment and we're gonna scale the wall with our cool claws. There we go. All right, now just jump up and head right. Now we're gonna have to do a little bit of um, creative jumping here. So just keep jumping. And I like to stay on one side. You can jump to the left like this, but then there's the holes. So it's easier just to stay on the right and keep jumping up and you can get past it there and just stay on the outside of the rocks and you can get all the way to the top by just jumping on the right. Now jump left and climb the rope and of course you're gonna have to jump as far as you can to the right and get up on the next one and then jump onto that and then climb up the rope and kind of do the same thing jump to the right and then climb up and keep climbing up and keep climbing up and there we go. Now it gets a little bit harder. <clears throat> there are moving pieces so just keep climbing this right wall and jump up here and you can stand on top of them like this and they don't bother you one bit but what you need to do is get on top of that and wait for the right time and there you go and jump up and to the right now you have to time or jump properly so you don't get punched by this thing uh, let's see here we go one more yep there we go okay now just jump up oops whoops okay here we go and jump to the right and then make it up past this one and there you go. Now we uh, get a little lesson from Basho so we need to use our ninja vision. So click here and click on the eye and you can see where your enemies are. And this is good for advanced notice of where your enemies are, where you're supposed to go. Uh, I recommend you use it if you don't know the level very well. Uh, I know it pretty well, so I'm not going to use it any further, but equip the smoke bomb here and point it at him and press the space bar, then run past. And uh, if you notice he had a bowl of noodles there, that's uh, a shout out to Think Noodles. Uh, <laughs> um, so let's head over to this window and enter the castle. Now we're in the maze and you have to find a key and a piece of parchment in each area. So first, let's, uh, let's scope this one out too just to give you guys an idea of what we've got ahead of us. There's the door, there's the ring, uh, there's the key that we're gonna need, uh, and uh, there's some people there, there's a piece of parchment there. So let's start our mission, and we're gonna use the uh, throwing star right here and knock this down, so press space bar. All right, now let's head in and climb up and over the top of this. And then we're gonna drop down and we need to just click it to use the grappling hook. And then click again to bounce off, perfect. Now we drop down and pick up the parchment. And uh, the haiku says, in my new clothing. So we'll jump back up here. 
and uh, we need to get past this guy so the best thing to do here um, is just drop down when he's walking away you don't need to bother him with a smoke bomb although you could so keep heading to the left and you'll see that there is a guy here so be careful don't get too close use your smoke bomb run past him and jump up and uh, go up this one on the left and you can grab the key perfect now drop down and run to your right and don't forget there was a guy there so use your smoke bomb again and blind him and get past him and jump up onto this platform here all right now equip your throwing star because you'll need to knock this down so use the throwing star and cut the rope if you get it right there we go now jump on top of that and click the ring to use your grappling hook to get past this guy and you'll swing and jump off and then just climb the top and jump to your left and climb 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 and go through the door here Basha will tell us to use the throwing stars to cut out the light sources so select your throwing star and throw it past the light source and it'll put the light out do the same on this one and even though the lights are out you cannot touch the guards so go slowly right here and put this one out oops a little lower now go here and jump over him because if you touch him he will still notice you which makes sense now use your smoke bomb on him and jump up past him and then we'll come to this and these things shoot at you so what you need to do is equip your bow staff and you can deflect them by pressing spacebar there we go all right and then just jump up on top and go this way and drop down now you can if you want put the light source out here you don't need to oops um, and I actually probably a bad idea uh, we'll just drop down here and uh, be very very careful uh, throw a smoke bomb down just to be sure there's no one there um, and if you fall down in between those two platforms you will get caught okay now use the grappling hook to get across and grab the key and then use it to get back across and land back up here now jump down to this platform so you can see the guy and throw the smoke bomb at him then you can get past him and you won't have to worry about him anymore jump up and we're almost through this one jump onto this platform here climb up the rope and pick up the piece of parchment on the right don't miss it and uh, this says uh, I feel so different and climb up this rope and get up a little bit and th until you can hit him with a smoke bomb that's not far enough uh, a little higher there now go past and climb up now this part is tricky uh, a lot of people have problems with this and it's because you jump up here and go to it that is not what you want to do with the ring you want to get right on the edge climb up to the edge and then click the ring then it'll swing you up to the top if you go from the other area and click the ring you're gonna miss it All right, now head in here and uh, put the light out with your throwing star. You don't need to, uh, to stun him. Now go across with your grappling hook and use your throwing star again to pop this one down. And you'll run past and you'll need another one and use the throwing star there. And uh, then equip the smoke bombs and hit him and get past him. And there's the key. So we'll drop down a little bit, uh, a little bit further and jump and get the key then we will jump across and go down here and you'll want to stay up and use your throwing star to break the rope there so that we can block ourselves from being seen there we go and uh, you can jump from the wall from here but it's really hard so use your bow staff and get all the way to the left and run quickly and bounce up and you can get on top of it and that's what you're supposed to do now uh, use the smoke bomb um, you know what we can just uh, you don't really need to use it on him uh, you can just jump over him onto the next bookcase so that's what we'll do here because it is really hard to get him when he's standing there like that so we'll just jump past now if we drop down to our left here we'll see the parchment and we've completed the haiku so let's jump up here and he can't see you through there so don't worry uh, make your way very slowly here and use the smoke bomb come on 
There we go. And uh, go past him and jump up here and use your throwing star, of course, to open that. And run to your left. And, uh, oh, oh, oh. Use your bow staff here if you need it. And uh, head down. And we go up here. And then you'll just want to jump up and stand right here. Now, you, uh, what you want to do is uh, equip your smoke bombs. Always have smoke bombs on just to check. Okay, this area doesn't actually have a person in it. Uh, what we'll actually need now that I think about it, we need our bow staff. Uh, this part, you need it 100%. Uh, so get about here, use it, get a little further, and uh, use your bow staff to launch yourself. And uh, now you're going to want to equip your throwing star and swing on this. And you'll see you have to knock that down there while you're swinging. So you can swing indefinitely. So just keep trying until you get it. And then when you make it, click and jump. And there you go. That is the last part. And you've solved the puzzle and gotten through the maze. Now, you think, right, that uh, now that we've gotten through it, uh, we just have one final battle with the Shogun, right? So here we go. Uh, Touch me and your friends will be locked up forever. I've hidden the key in a place you'll never find. Well, I went around a lot. All you really need to do is make sure you back up. If you don't back up, the game will uh, glitch out and lock up. Select your throwing stars and throw it at the top of the ceiling and you'll knock the cage down and then you'll run over and you've surrounded the Shogun. If you're standing next to him and you just use the throwing stars, it will probably lock up the game. So make sure you run to the left first. And uh, just as you think you're about to beat the island, the Shogun does something we really don't want him to do. And uh, <sighs> he creates a problem that we're gonna have to fix. So the Shogun asks for our help, and I love this part where she has to say please. Uh, and it does, uh, it, it takes us uh, to the final part. And now we have to fix this. And this part is extremely difficult. So let's head up to the Cloud Dragon. And I'll give you guys the best uh, advice I can give you. Um, and give it a try. Uh, as best you can in a hard mode. It took me a long time and that was really frustrating. So just jump up here and climb the mountain. You don't have to worry about those fireballs. None of them will hit you. Uh, so just make your way up. It seems like it's urgent, but it really isn't. Um, and head to the top and climb on the cloud dragon. Now we have to fight the fire dragon and the red dragon attacks both you and the houses and you have to keep yourself alive, uh, refill your dragon, um, uh, your water by going into the clouds, and you have to keep at least one of the houses alive during the battle. So there are a lot of things you have to do in the hard mode. Now there is an easy mode. After you lose the first time the red dragon, which unless you've played it a bunch of times, you're going to probably lose the first time. Uh, you can select easy mode. And the difference with easy mode is he pays less attention to the houses. He pays more attention to you, so you get a lot more shots on him. Uh, I got a few right here. Um, and also, you never have to refill your dragon's water, which makes it a ton easier because you have unlimited water. Uh, it makes it a lot harder when you have to fill up. So um, this is hard mode, actually. Well, you can tell I'm refilling the water, and I do end up beating it uh, just barely, actually. Um, I end up uh, knocking him out with, I think, I'm trying to think if it's one house left. Let's, uh, let's keep, let's, uh, let's watch it. But, um, you know, you just want to try and stay behind him as best you can and put out the houses. So he's, he's red right now. So maybe I, maybe I get, oh, I'm trying to remember. Uh, but uh, once he turns red, that means he's about to die. So um, keep the pressure on him uh, when he's red like this and uh, try and hit his head a couple more times oh 
come on, big noodles. You can do it. Okay, I got a refill here, and I should get it shortly after this. Um, I was really excited when I did. Uh, you guys will see. Um, there we go. I got a few shots on him there. And um, what ended up happening was um, I think I had to save this final house from him. And that's what made me win it. Uh, it wasn't actually a shot on him. As you see, I put the house out and there we go. I am victorious and that was a feat, I must tell you. So if you can do it in hard mode, uh, congratulations, I applaud you. Um, it really is really hard. At least it was for me. I don't know how hard it was for you, but I felt so proud of myself when I did it. And if you did it in hard mode, you should be proud of yourself too. So uh, let's click continue. And then it'll take us to uh, just near the end of Red Dragon Island. And we find out that Basho and the Shogun are brothers and train together as samurai. And the Shogun is gonna have a change of ways and we have fixed old Japan so that there's no longer a rivalry All right, we better head out before they start uh, hugging us. So let's uh, use the magic amulet and get back to the tree. So open up your inventory. And there it is. Oop, there it is, use. Okay, and we will teleport back to the tree house. Now all we need to do is use the book. So we need to use the book that we got in the beginning, the Frog Creek book. So let's head all the way to the end of our inventory. And there we go, click use. And we will head back to Frog Creek, Pennsylvania where this whole thing started. And they almost forgot to give you the medal. So there you go. Uh, Red Dragon Island is complete. Congratulations. I hope this video helped you with the parts you were stuck at. If it did, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more Pop Tropica walkthroughs. I'll see you guys again soon. And thanks for watching.